I'm thrilled to formally present the results of our five-year accreditation process. Uh, to Ms. Campbell's earlier comments about the accomplishments this year, in spite of uh, the challenges of working around and through, navigating through the, 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 the year of COVID, uh, our team has continued on an exemplary path of supporting students and so on. And it's easy for me to sit there knowing all of the intricate work that goes on across our dynamic and complex district, but it's so validating when a third party entity, a nationally recognized entity comes in and does a deep dive into your operations, into your work and your core mission and comes out and gives you feedback that validates some of the praise that I provide and the board certainly provides on a regular basis. So I've given the community a spoiler alert that yes, we are accredited for another five years as a district, but I think there is so much to celebrate throughout the feedback we received in this experience. I want to take a moment and talk about what is a system accreditation. It is a, it is a very rigorous research-based uh, dive into the organization uh, looking for evidence-based criteria, certainly research-based strategies. It examines every element of uh, Brevard Public Schools or any district school system. But I want to emphasize, or I want to note the third bullet there, where the process de determines how well the parts work together to carry out the institution's vision and meet the needs of every learner. That is our mission statement in and of itself, and meeting the needs of every learner. So I'm excited to share some of the, the feedback. The process included an extensive interview uh, cadre of over 500 stakeholders. Over the course, I, my kudos to our team that accommodated Cognia's request for all of these processes, all done virtually. Uh, over 500 stakeholder interviews across the organization that included myself, the board members, uh, top level uh, leaders in the organization, but also our teachers, our students, our parents and community members. It uh, isn't unusual for me to be at an event like the Space Coast League of Cities and have a parent uh, come and say, hey, how did, that, how did that review go? I was one of the interviewees in that process and I have recently been able to boast of our uh, accomplishment. But it also not only uh, was a virtual process, it included 18 different school sites across the district and across all levels. Very comprehensive. Here you see how the organization, how Brevard Public Schools was assessed. Uh, three key uh, components, leadership capacity, learning capacity, and research capacity. And within each of those components are several standards. And I'll give the board a, a, a review and the community an overview of what those are specifically in a moment. But each standard is then evaluated and assessed with one of four ratings from red to blue. As you can imagine, uh, red is not where you want to be. Uh, blue is the most uh, affirming rating that you can receive and they recognize that as impacting or demonstrates where practice is producing clear results that positively impact the institution. And even the green recognitions of improving, I, I feel, I think that term improving is a little misleading because if you look at the description, it still clearly <coughs> pinpoints quality practices that are improving and meet the standards that are being assessed throughout the evaluation. So I know you're wondering, okay, what does the the ratings look like for Brevard Public Schools. Well, let's start with leadership capacity. Here you see 11 standards that were assessed across uh, all these different areas. And in the far right, you see the color coding of the feedback we received. Ultimately, of the 11 standards, eight standards received the highest rating in the leadership capacity evaluation and assessment of the organization. And three of the standards, albeit not at the impacting level, still received the improving, um, the improving level of the organization. I want to highlight one that I referenced in the COVID mitigation strategies update, 
and that is standard 1.8. I don't know how clearly it's depicted on the screen there. It's the eighth one down on the list, engaging stakeholders. And um, that is a priority for us moving forward. It was still recognized at the improving level. Some of the feedback we received was it's difficult to uh, pivot and respond to engaging stakeholders when we've had limited access to our campuses. But to emphasize my earlier comments, we are fully committed to re-energize and elevate uh, engaging stakeholders in the school year moving forward uh, in our practices. The next area of learning capacity, again, all blue and green areas, eight uh, standards rated at the highest level and four being recognized at the improving level. Um, but those, those areas of improving being recognized as the equitable learning uh, opportunities, the culture innovation, uh, and curricular high expectations. As we continue to commit to our lens of equity for kids, high expectations for all of our students. We know as educators that that is a critical and key component to building students up to not only striving for, but achieving uh, all of the opportunities that are before them. And we will continue to make that a priority as we work with our kids in our schools and our families uh, to support them. And then finally, the final category of resource capacity results. Uh, again, uh, very favorable where uh, four standards were recognized as uh, impacting and four others uh, are at the improving level. That is the extent of the standards. Notice you did not see any red or yellow scores uh, as part of the feedback we received from the uh, assessment. So let me break this down for you a little bit because uh, this, is, this is some powerful feedback. The overall scoring range of a district through the accreditation review process is anywhere from 100 to 400 points. In 2016, when we went through accreditation previously, we received a score of 250 points. We did earn district accreditation, even through that review, with a score of 250. And at the time, the average range or score of institutions that were evaluated by Cognia, which is nationwide, thousands of school districts, was 278. So at the time, in 2016, we were rather below the average score of other uh, uh, educational districts across the country. But this year, in 2021, we received an overall score of 345.81 points. Significant improvement and strides since our accreditation evaluation five years ago. And when you look at, well, what does that mean in comparison to other school districts around the country? The average ranged from 278 to 283. Clearly a significant, I'll call outlier in the positive direction of the uh, demonstration of effectiveness of Brevard Public Schools in serving our kids and their families. So to take a look at some of the bullets of feedback that we received from the assessment, we always celebrate the accomplishments, but we likewise take time to reflect on the opportunities for improvement. And this, although we had much to celebrate, is no exception. But I, I would be remiss if we didn't highlight some of the feedback we received from the accreditation assessment team. That BPS has created a culture permeated by a growth mindset where trust defines relationships. That's affirming because we know trust is the foundation of community and school collaboration. Validation of a strong commitment to the vision and mission uh, of the organization as it stands before us. But also having an active and informed leadership by the school board. The accreditation team specifically acknowledged the leadership of our school board 
particularly the unique role of being champions for particular elements of our strategic plan, not excluding board members from the entire strategic plan, but each of you doing your own deep dive, if you will, into components of the strategic plan and bringing your perspective to those uh, updates as we move through. But the accreditation team acknowledging that, that intricate involvement, that ongoing engagement of the board uh, with the organization, as well as the structures that are in place to engage stakeholders in different ways. Additional feedback we received was uh, uh, commendation for our vision for excellent instruction, which was uh, developed and put into place within the last five years, as well as our strategic plan that drives and strives to uh, meet the needs of every student. And this third bullet, I think, is uh, really a testament of our culture as an organization, and that is a commitment to continuous improvement uh, that is both defined by the Florida Department of Education that we utilize and implement through our school improvement plans at every one of our schools across the district, as well as the parents' feedback uh, indicating a strong trust element that has been built across the community with our school schools and the school district. But where can we pause and say, where do we go from here? Where do we continue to improve until we realize our mission? The assessment team uh, acknowledged and emphasized that program evaluation and, and data disaggregation by subgroups will be critical as we transition back to full-time learning for our students so that we can, in fact, meet the individual needs of our kids. But also they dove deeper in recognizing that there is work needed to be done in an area that just validated what we already knew in developing common-wide vocabulary, definition, definitions, valid metrics, in assisting the district how we can better attain our mission of serving every student with excellence. So again, I'll come back to where, we, where I started, and that is congratulations, uh, school board of Brevard Public Schools. You serve a school district that has received five-year district accreditation, and not just by a little but by a significant uh, uh, score and feedback from the Cognia Accreditation Company. I'll certainly answer any questions, but if uh, we can take advantage of a photo op, we would uh, like to present the board our district accreditation certificate from uh, the Cognia organization. <laughs> 